Hi everyone, this is Madison, Emily, and Anna here to talk about Martha E. Rogers, a nursing theorist who lived during the 20th century. In this video, we will be delving into Rogers' background, her nursing theory, and the application of her nursing theory. We will be taking questions at the end. Enjoy! Martha Elizabeth Rogers was born May 12, 1914 in Dallas, Texas, and died March 13, 1994 in Phoenix, Arizona. She was an American nurse, researcher, theorist, and author. She was never married and devoted her life to nursing. She received her nursing diploma from the Knoxville General Hospital School of Nursing in 1936, and then earned her public health nursing degree from George Peabody College in Tennessee in 1937. Her master master's degree was from the Teachers College at Columbia University in 1945 and her doc doctorate in nursing was given to her from John Hopkins University in Baltimore in 1954. From the time from when she was small, she loved books and learning, and that love was encouraged by her parents. At the age of three, she was going to every story time at the library. She found kindergarten very exciting, and by the fourth grade, she had read every book in the school library. She was allowed to check out eight books at a time from the public library and, read through, and went through the books shelf by shelf. By the age of 10, she knew the Greek alphabet, and by the 6th grade, she had read all 20 volumes of the Child's Book of Knowledge and had started reading the encyclopedia. When she was in her senior year of high school, she had taken all of the math courses that were offered and was taking college-level algebra course in which she was the only female in the class. While being a nursing professor at the New York University, Rogers developed the science of unitary human beings. Rogers wrote books that enriched the learning experiences and influenced the direction of nursing research for countless students. She wrote Educational Revolution in Nursing, Revival in Nursing, and an Introduction to the Theoretical Basis of Nursing, which introduced the four regering principles of homeodynamics. Following her retirement in 1975, Rogers continued to teach at New York University and was a frequent presenter at scientific conferences throughout the world and consistently worked to refine her conceptual system. Rogers was also actively involved in, pro in professional nursing organizations and associations concerned with education and scholarship. She was honored with numerous awards and citations for her sustained contributions to nursing and science. As previously mentioned, Martha Rogers developed the science of unitary human beings nursing theory in the mid 20th century while she was a professor at New York University. In this theory, Rogers emphasizes the equal importance of science of the science behind nursing and the relationship between the patient and their environment. Breaking it down, the science behind nursing is the combination of theories and practical concepts that nurses are taught to better the care and health of the patient, while the relationship between the patient and their environment is how the patient's habits, emotions, experiences, physical state, and emotional state affect the patient in that moment. Rogers emphasizes that one should take into account both these factors, the science of nursing and the relationship between the patient and their environment in order to become a suitable nurse. Rogers made it clear that patients are not just bodies, but are people with emotions and experiences, which, which nurses should utilize to help each patient depending on each individual's needs. According to this theory, nurses should use both of these factors to help creatively take care of each patient individually. Rogers believed that nurses serve and help the patients and their loved ones through processing change in any way they can. Some ideas she suggested to help patients through processing change were very unique and taboo for the time. Some of those methods will be mentioned later. Rogers acknowledged nursing burnout as an issue in the field and prioritized self-care, which is why she included this idea in her nursing theory. Nursing burnout is a major issue in the nursing community. This occurs when nurses become physically and or emotionally exhausted to the point where they may become unmotivated or frustrated, which can hinder their duties as a nurse. Nursing burnout can also affect other people like patients and co-workers, resulting in lower morale, an increase in illnesses, and death among patients if left unnoticed. 
Surrounding the patient in the best environment possible was very important to Rogers as a nurse, which is why she prioritized self-care. Rogers' main point was that she wants nurses to creatively take care of patients, cater to their needs, and surround them with the best environment possible. Martha Rogers' work had an important contribution to nursing in the way that her theory addresses the problem of nursing burnout and the idea that the patient's environment affects their physical, mental, psychological, and spiritual well-being. Examples to apply her theory in both to both nurses and patients are, for nurses, it's creating a safe environment by taking time off and doing stress-reducing activities such as yoga, exercise, or meditation. Another example is going from full-time to part-time and participating and building relationships with the patients and empowering them. Consequences of not taking care of oneself can be detrimental to the patient's health in terms of safety and well-being. As for patients, it's creating a well-rounded evaluation and care plan that includes alternative therapies that focus on the human sense senses, such as meditation, guided imagery, th guided imagery therapy, touch therapy, aromatherapy, and even color therapy. In conclusion, Martha Rogers served a very important role in nursing theory and the nursing community as a whole. Her theory taught nurses that the science behind nursing and the relationship between the patient and their environment are equally essential to take into account when taking care of patients. She advocated for creative, unique care for each individual patient depending on their environment. She also was open to different types of therapies that can help patients process change. Additionally, she acknowledged nursing burnout and prioritized self-care because of its effect on the patient's environment. Rogers' theory brought forth humanitarian ideals that helped the nursing community improve the care of patients overall.